I have to say, looking at a certain scene from the ultimate race reveals something. Remember how the driver's plan to rescue Marky from the drone's headquarters hinged on being able to take over a sweeper, which originated from this scene? How do they expect to get into the drone's headquarters? The way Taro did it, at the end of the water realm. Drawn through the portal while attached to a drone's car. Well, you gosh damn wrong. It was only half the ways and why as to why the drivers were successful in rescuing Marky. While it did give them the means in which to rescue Marky, we have some hidden heroes as to how all the drivers made it out alive. First of all, we have to ask one question. How would the drivers make it out of the drone's headquarters? And that's right, using the EDR. But there's a problem. The drivers don't know that the EDR can return multiple drivers to the Accelodrome. After all, someone has to pick up Marky, and therefore the EDR has to carry at least two drivers. So even if you take over a sweeper and get into the drone's headquarters, you don't know if the EDR is going to work or malfunction with a second person with you. Unless someone figured it out beforehand. Someone like Porkchop and Marky, who wanted to help their friends in the junkyard realm. When Porkchop and Monkey saved their friends, they discovered that the EDR could in fact take multiple drivers back to the Accelodrome, and it's with this knowledge that all the drivers were able to go in confidently into the drone's headquarters and save Marky. Although they may not know it, both Porkchop and Monkey are the real heroes of the story, and the masterminds behind the plan to save Marky. 